Welcome to an introduction to airport privatization. Let me explain the structure of this course to better orient you in what we are specifically studying and how are the contents divided among lectures. We will start the course by explaining the basic concepts of airport privatization. We will define what airport privatization is and discuss what are the different levels of airport privatization, including contracting out, lease and concessions, and complete divestiture of ownership. After building the basic concept of airport privatization, next section of the course will discuss what makes airport privatization challenging. We will explain the stakeholders of airport privatization and discuss in depth how airports are complex business places combining diversified professional fields under a single roof, or should we say a single sky. After that, we will move on to review governance of world-renowned airports. This section will contest your preconceived notions on airport governance by introducing some of the world's famous airports like Atlanta, Heathrow, Dubai, Beijing, Changi, Frankfurt, Paris, and Tokyo, and revealing their ownership form, that is, whether they are state-owned or privately owned. Our next section would be the most insightful section for you. We will dive into the real-world privatization case studies and learn important lessons from airport privatization programs of different countries, such as Britain, United States, and Argentina. In the last section, we'll compare state-owned airports around the world with privately-owned airports in terms of the quality of airport services through a reliable measure accepted in airport industry. This section is going to develop sound understanding of how these two forms of governance are delivering in the area of service quality and if there is any inherent link or connection between estate or private ownership and airport service quality. We will finally conclude our course with reconciliation of the things that we have learned. So let's take off for a journey that I am sure will be valuable learning experience for you and will make you a better aviation professional. See you in the next lecture.